When Series 2 first came out, Iron Valiant was one of my favorite Paradox Pokemon. I loved using it on the rank ladder for its physical attacking and its special attacking, considering it gets a great move pool from both. But now Series 3 is here, and now we can pair it up with Shen Pao and Shiyu, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Also, guys, want to give a huge shout out to team creator Pokeburm. Thank you so much for making this team. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. Go check him out. He makes some awesome videos and some awesome teams. So, again, if you guys want some cool rental teams for Series 3, head on over to his channel. But like I mentioned, we got Shen Pao, Iron Valiant, and Chiyu all paired up on the same team today. This one should be fun. Hopefully, we get to, get to grab some wins with it. But Shen Pao is going to be our first Pokemon rocking in our top left hand corner with the Swords of Ruin and the Focus Sash as item. Ice Sharp for first turn priority, Throat Chop, Ice Spinner, and Protect. We got Golden Go for our second Pokemon, and Golden Go is an absolute monster paired up with Chiyu. If you're able to land and make it rain with that thing out on the field, most of the Pokemon are pretty much dead. This one has good as gold, Life Orb as item, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Power Gem, and Protect. Star of the show is in our third spot. It is going to be that Iron Valiant. Love this Pokemon's design more than anything. It just looks absolutely amazing. It has like a dual blade like kind of sword. It just looks amazing. It really does. It has Quirk Drive as its ability, the Booster Energy as its item, then Rock and Close Combat, Moon Blast, Knock Off, and Protect. Like I mentioned, we got some special attack moves. We got some physical attack moves. They're both going to work wonders on today's scene. We got Amoongus in our fourth spot for a nice little support Pokemon. Got the Regenerator, got the Citrus Bright, Rage Powder, Palm Puff, Protect, Spore. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Chiyu is our fifth Pokemon with Beads of Ruin and a Wide Lens to make its move. Heat Wave hit a little bit more of the time. It's got Snarl, it's got Taunt, and it's got Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Palafin, but not just any Palafin. This is an Eject Pack Palafin. And if you guys don't know what Eject Pack does, when you're holding the item, if your stats get lowered, you swap out. So Palafin's main key is actually swapping it out. It has a move like Close Combat, which drops its defense. So if we use that turn one, our, st our stats are going to lower. Our Eject Pack's going to proc out, and then we're going to be able to swap out and get Palafin into hero form. So that's pretty cool. Its other three moves are going to be Acrobatics, Jet Punch, and Wave Crash. Or a great move set for Palafin. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Iron Valiant, Chi Yu, and Shen Pal team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Tinkaton and Gyarados team with Ting Lu, Arcanine, Fluttermane, and a Moon. This should be fun. How should we start this off and how should we lead it? Tinkaton is probably going to be a lead for our opponent, so I might just go Palafin, right? I might just go Palafin. I kind of like Palafin here. I kind of like Palafin, but I am scared of the Fake Out. Like, Fake Out turn 1 can just go through a lot of my Pokemon. So, I could go Chi Yu, and I could also go in with Golden Go as a lead, right? That wouldn't be too bad. Because then I can kind of just, like, Fake Out and then get after it. Or, like, I could dodge Fake Out or just protect the Chi Yu. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. But I feel like Tinkaton isn't, like, it's absolutely going to be led here. You know, I am going to go Golden Go, and I am going to go Chi Yu. And then we're going to bring Iron Valiant, and last but not least, Shen Pao in the back end. I like it. Double down with our Legends of Ruins Pokemon. Bring Valiant. Bring the Golden Go. Let's do it. Let's get after it here in match number one. But Arcanine could be a little bit of a problem, right? We don't really have too many counters to Arcanine. I mean, Palafin would have worked well. Palafin would have been great here, but I just feel like with the Fake Out, it could kind of be annoying. But usually a lot of Palafins, none of them really rock Flip Turn anymore, right? None of them really do. So they could have made the prediction that we were just going to hard swap and we could just close combat into that slot. Could have been really good for us, but... Let's end up seeing what they're going for. And it's going to be Ting Lu and Gyarados. So Intimidate's probably going to come out here from the Gyarados. I don't mind that. I really do not mind that. I might have to terrestrialize my Chiyu, but from here, I feel like we're, we're sitting in a pretty decent spot. Intimidate comes out here. We're all special attacking, so I ain't worried about it. I'm not worried about it. And then the Vessel of Ruin is actually going to help him out tremendously. Actually, it kind of cancels out each other, right? It definitely cancels them out. So I'm just going to Power Gem. I'm going to get rid of the Gyarados. I'm just going to get rid of the Gyarados, and then from here, I might just protect my Chiyu here. Or even terrestrialize it into flying, which wouldn't be bad. I'm just going to protect it. I'm just going to protect it and see how this turn goes. So I would love to just drop a Power Gem in the Gyarados, get rid of it, kind of go from there. I totally forgot that uh, this thing's rocking Power Gem, so that could actually handle the Arcanine if they do have it in the back end. But I'm not too sure if they're rocking it. Now that they're rocking the Gyarados. Double Intimidate could do me dirty later on, because I have a physical attacker in Shen Pao. But Chiyu, you want to protect like we already did. And what are you doing, kind sir? You going for a Fisher or something? Power Gem comes out here. Can this KO? It 
does not. Big time damage though, and I, and I like to know that we outspeed him too. It's really good for us. And now he's going to Dragon Dance. We don't outspeed anymore. Kind of scary. And now I might Terrasalize my Chiyu, or even swap it out. Mm, probably Terrasalize here, right? He goes for a Stomp and catch him in Chiyu. Cool. So yeah, definitely want to Terrasalize that thing. Water super effective onto it. Ground super effective. Flying is going to be a nice little play for us. But from here, I could pop and make it rain. I could pop and make it rain. I'm thinking there's a Shadow Ball in case he wants to swap. But who will he swap into, right? I highly doubt he swaps. I could opt to protect. I could just go for the protect on you, right? I feel like you gotta go after him at this point. Hmm. And then do I go for a Heat Wave? Definitely wanna protect you. Definitely wanna protect you. And then do I go for a Heat Wave or a Snarl? What would do more damage? Well, this is not very effective, so it gets cut in half. I'm trying to do the math. I think Snarl would do a bit more damage here. I'm going to opt to go for the Terrasalize Snarl and look for the KO on the Gyarados. Hopefully, I can get it. I'm not sure if I can KO with that. Snarl is stabbed, though. I was trying to do the math in my head. Because Snarl is neutral plus stab, so it's 55 times 1.5. But then Heat Wave would be half of 95, which is lower than 55. So Snarl should do more damage. Snarl should do more damage. Waterfall comes into you. Good thing we did Terrasalize. And oh my lord, that KOs me. Terrible. Terrible, man. That really hurts the soul. Okay. So from here, I could bring out first turn priority Pokemon, which would be Shen Pao. And can Ice Shard KO? Hmm. I'm not too sure. I mean, I would lower the uh, attack stat, which is bad. So, you know, I'm going to go into Shen Pao here. Get my boy Shen Pao cooking up in here. Um, I really don't want to pop and make it rain yet. Stomping Cantrum is a little scary. But defense is dropped. Defense is out. Down and out. Uh, could go for make it rain. Could just throw a power gem. Um, what do I do? I don't want to make it rain. I might just swap into Iron Valiant here. Save gold and go for back end? Hmm. This Ice Shard should be able to KO. I'm just going to go into Shadow Ball. Look for that special defense drop. Which I would really, really like. And then Ice Shard should be able to KO Gyarados with the defense drop on the board. So that's exactly what we're going to do. That is exactly what we're going to do. I feel like a stopping cancer is coming out here. Maybe even a Fisher. Oh, yeah. That waterfall did me so dirty. Wasting my terrestrialization. He ends up hard swapping the Gyarados. I think because he thinks I'm going for a Sucker Punch. And Arcanine comes out here. So, yeah. Power Gem. We're going to need to throw that after this. Uh, this what's it called. This Arcanine. But a stopping cancer could KO my Golden Girl, which is scary. I shot five Surreal. Doing like five damage. And Shadow Ball's going to fly here. Can we at least get the special defense drop? I mean, it wouldn't really matter, but I would like it. We do get it. Cool. <laughs> we end up getting it. Life Forbes going to pop. Um, I guess first time we catch him in the Golden Girl. And that thing is going to KO, right? Yeah. Ouch, man. This thing in a tough, tough spot. Real tough spot. Real tough spot. Our opponent's playing really good here. Okay, so I'm going into my Valiant. He's my, he's my, my back-end Pokemon right here. He's going to have to help me out here. We're gonna pop into booster energy, which is great. I think that boosts our attack, right? Or speed. It's gonna be speed. The speed wasn't really a problem, but from here, I kinda just wanna knock off this thing's item. Or I can just start close combating it down. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna start throwing an ice spinner in this slot. I reckon I might even protect here. You know what? I don't really know. But I'm gonna need my uh my Shen Pao out here. He ends up withdrawing the Ting Lu. Who are you going into Gyarados here? For another intimidate? Yeah, he just wants to intimidate on the board. He wants to intimidate. So it looks like I'm going to have to opt into my special attacking moves, but Arcanine's just eating up. Arcanine's going to be able to soak, so we're, so we're hoping for some crits at least. Close combat comes through here. Doing not bad damage. Our defense is dropped. I feel like he goes after Shen Pao here, right? Ice Spinner's going to KO. We get rid of Gyarados, no problem. That intimidate was good. Our opponent's playing really good here. This match did not look good for us. Arcanine and Gyarados doing the sturdy. Heat wave comes through here. Gonna bring us down to low HP. We still, we still have a shot here, right? We still have a shot because close combat should KO the Arcanine. Oh god, Tinkatons here. Do I have double protect? I do have double protect. But we have to do. We have to double protect here and hope that he just stays with Arcanine and doesn't hard swap it. Man, 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 oh man. There's the withdrawal there. Does me so dirty, yo. Intimidate. Doing me so dirty, man. Hate it. And who are you faking out? My Shen Pao? 
That's what I was hoping. You you wouldn't go withdraw the Arcanine for another Intimidate, but it's just a smart play. Just a real smart, easy play for our opponent. Man, our opponent's playing so good here. Ting Lu doing good too. Goes for the Gigaton Hammer. So I could have just blocked one Pokemon. I think he thought I was protecting just Shen Pao. But from here, um, ah, man, special attacking is our best friend here. I'm going to have a special attacking shot into that. And then I'm just going to Ice Spinner. Mm, do I just Ice Spinner down in this slot or do I double down in this slot? I think we double down in this slot. So he ends up put you on Ting Lu. That's tough. Because Arcanine might be able to soak these. Intimidate. That would be so dirty, man. Gets off three Intimidates in, in, in two turns. Insane, insane value here. The Shen Pao is really not doing anything. Moonblast is going to come in hot here. Not doing enough damage. And Ice Spinner, I don't think Ice Spinner is doing enough. We're minus three. Oh my lord, the soak. The bulkiness here. Play rough misses. Hold up. Wait a minute. So you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance here. Hmm. What is my play here? I got a close combat you down. I'm just going to protect Shen Pao. I'm going to protect Shen Pao here. If he withdrawed Arcanine again, that would have been wild. <laughs> that would have been wild. We end up going first. We're hoping that he's going after my <laughs> Shen Pao. And I'm kind of hoping for a crit here. This would be insane if we end up winning this battle. Go after Shen Pao, please. No, you go after Valiant. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. So now it's 2v1. And we stand no chance here. We really don't. Unless we get a crit, they miss an attack. But ah, it's tough. It is tough. He can't use Gigaton Hammer again. We know that. But I'm still going to go for it. I'm still going to look for the crit here with a, with an Ice Spinner. But again, we're minus three. It's just no bueno for us. Match number one. Straight in the dumps for us. Straight in the dumps for us. Ice Spinner comes out here. This thing's going to soak all day. Unless we crit. Yeah, see. There's just no chance. Match number one goes to our opponent. Their playoff ends up landing. And uh, we're 0-1. Let's hop into our second match. Look for our first victory. Second match coming at you guys, and I'll admit, that first one was not my best. Not my best work, but we're going up against a Shen Pao team with Murkrow, Baxcalibur, Golden Go, Shen Pao, like we already mentioned, then King Gambit, and Fluttermane. How should I play this one? I mean, Palvin's not going to be too bad here, especially for a lead. It's super effective onto a lot of Pokemon with close combat, so... I'm thinking Palafin into the Jack Pack could be really, really good for us. So I'm going to go that. I might even go Golden Go here for lead. I don't really mind Golden Go. Just got to watch out for the Sucker Punches, right? Got to watch out for the Sucker Punches. Two Pokemon that can really just hit me hard with Sucker Punch. So I am going to go. Do I go Golden Go or do I go Valiant? I kind of like Valiant a little bit better. I'm going to go Valiant. I'm going to bring Shen Pao of my own, and I might even bring Chiyu. I like Chiyu here. I really do. Super effective onto a lot. So that's going to be my team. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Because again, match number one, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Actually, it's no big deal. Gyarados and Arcanine really just got the best of me there. Took the dub. But yeah, close combat in this fighting type is really good. We have close combat on our Valiant as well. So we have two fighting type Pokemon to get us started here. I'm cool with it. Let's see who they end up leading. Mercury and Baxi. It's fine. It's cool. I'm cool with it. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I feel like we just close combat the Max Calibre and we Moonblast down the the Murkrow. I'm kind of cool with that. Close combat into you. Nice little Moonblast into you. I can get down with it. I wonder if he's going to Terror here. He is. Who Terror has? It's got to be the Baxi, right? Got to be the Max Calibre. Into what? Into what typing? Straight ground. Okay. I feel you. A little bit of ground typing coming in here. Is that for a ground move? Or is that just to dodge moves? The Tama comes out here. I don't I don't really mind that. I mean you can have a little bit of speed here. Palfin's gonna be nice, especially once I get him back out there with jet punches. But Moonblast's gonna deal some big time damage. Drop the special attack. You know that thing's physical attacking, and the EQ's gonna fly. I don't mind the EQ too much. Like how much damage is it really gonna do? How much damage is your EQ really gonna do? A lot. A lot. That did a lot. <laughs> I'll give it to you. That did a lot of damage. Close combat comes out here. And my defense drops. But I have a jack pack. So a jack pack's going to send me back. And I feel like from here, we just bring out Chiyu and we terrestrialize it, right? Because if you're going to pop EQs, I'll leave it be, right? I could go into you and just ice shard it down. But I don't mind I don't mind protecting my Valiant. 
and then terrestrialize my Chiyu here. I don't really mind that. I mean, you might have Shen Pao in the back end, which could be a little bit of a problem with, with that typing. But I have Palafin to come out here with Jet Punches. All right, let me see its team. Fluttermane. Yeah, I don't really mind this too much. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to terrestrialize. I'm going to pop the Heat Wave. And I'm just going to protect you. I am just going to protect the Valiant. So, we have two Pokemon in the back end with first turn priority, which is really good. Both going to be super effective on the ground. We got the Ice Shard. We got the Jet Punch. And we're going to need that. We are going to need our first turn priority. It's going to be very, very valuable to us. So, hopefully, he's sticking with the EQ. I really hope they are. We have this Flying Tire coming in hot here. We end up protecting the lovely little Valiant. And we're looking for a double kill with the Heat Wave. There's the EQ. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you got to be going after Chi Yu, right? Right, Murky? Right, Murky Murkrow? What are you going for, Murky Murkrow? A foul play into Chi Yu. That's fine. Heat Wave now flies. Did we just miss a Heat Wave? Hold up. I got a question. I got a question. I know, it's, I know it's Thermal Exchange. I got a question real quick. We have the Wide Lens. The Wide Lens, and we're missing a Heat Wave. Slightly boost the accuracy of their moves. Doesn't it go up by like 10? Doesn't it go up by like 10 accuracy? And what is the, what is the move on this one? What's the accuracy? Actually, I can check here. What is accuracy on this? 90. Shouldn't this be 100? That is absurd. That is absurd. That is real absurd. So I guess from here we're going to go into this and... I guess I'll try to Moonblast this down, but that is absurd. Murkrow should be gone. Murkrow should be gone. He ends up withdrawing the Murkrow. So who's going to come in here to take this heat move? That's the real question. Unless you're going after Chiyu here. Let me Golden go. You got to be going after Chiyu. You go for the Ice Shard for KO. And it's going to work. So he picks up the KO. I don't mind that too much. I wish I had Sucker Punch at this point, right? Sucker Punch would be amazing. As long as this Moonblast can KO, which it should be able to. Let's get after it. It doesn't. That hurts. Okay, so now I gotta bring out a first-turn priority Pokemon. Uh. Hmm. Shen Pao it? Yeah, I'm down for some Shen Pao action. A little bit of Shen Pao. Um, I could protect the Valiant here. But I really want to go for a knockoff more than anything. I have Sash. But to make it rain could be terrible. Let's see, how many turns left in Tailwind? That's the real question. So I could double protect. One, yeah, double protect some here, but let's double protect here. Let's double protect, waste out the Tailwind. And then we'll kind of go from there. I mean, I get it, they have Murkrow in the back end. I highly doubt they swap into Murkrow here. So doing this would be great because if I can get Tailwind canceled, I can Ice Shard the back's Calibre, take that out, and then Knockoff should be able to do a huge chunk of damage or maybe even KO onto the, uh, the Golden Go. I mean, it should KO onto the Golden Go because uh, we have the defense drop from the from the Shen Pao ability. Let's say solid match here. They got us in the hole a little bit, but I feel like we could definitely make a comeback here, especially after this protect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me all the speed in the world. Give me all the speed. We like all the speed. The so Tailwind's gone again. Yeah, I, th I think the play is just going to be knock off. Knock off into that slot and Ice Shard into the slot to finish that off. Or should I just Ice Spinner? Actually, I'm going to Ice Shard because I don't want him going for an Ice Shard and outspeeding me and picking up some big time damage or maybe even a KO onto my Valiant. So I'm going to Ice Shard out here. Ice Shard, see you later. Get on at my game. And come on, Knock Off. I need some big time damage here. I need some big time damage here. Let's see what you got cooking for us. Come on, Valiant. Come on, Valiant. I know you got it in you. Oh, man. That hurts. That really hurts. Takes off his choice specs. He's going to make her aim. That hurts, man. I need that KO. So, Shen Pao is going to be chilling here. Sashing up. That's actually a big time focus, Sash. And I wonder if he's going to bring out Murkrow. I mean, I got first turn priority all day, which is really, really good for us. I think he brings out Murkrow here, right? I think Murkrow does come out here. And now we got two Pokemon with first turn priority. It's, it's coming down to it. It is coming down to it. Coming down to we get a Palafin back out and about, which is lovely. And he's gonna throw out his final Pokemon, which is Shen Pao of its own. Shen Pao of its own. Huh. Hmm. So I was for the Shen Pao right off the rip. Uh ch -ch -ch -ch. Ice Shard for the KO. Can Ice, Ice Shard should be able to KO this thing. I'm gonna drop an Ice Shard in that slot. And what do I do up against 
Do I go for the close combat? I feel like I have to, right? Because how much is this Jet Punch really going to do? Jet Punch could KO. I mean, he's really weak. Defensively. I'm going to go for Jet Punch. I'm going to go for Jet Punch. One of them might even protect you. Sucker Punch comes here. And that just drops me. Hurts soul. Hurts me, hurts me, hurts me. And yeah, that's game, yo. 0-2. Oh We're getting ripped today. We're getting ripped. I really do like this team, though. I'm just surprised we're getting ripped this much. Guess I'm guess it's just one of those days. It's just one of those days today. But yeah, we end up dropping that. He brings that back out the Murkrow. I mean, Sucker Punch can come, come out here all day. He's full HP. So I'm just going to run this one. Game, set, match. 0-2. We got to hop into that third and final battle and get ourselves a victory. Final match coming at you guys, and I need to grab myself some win here. We need a win. We need a win. Never went 0-3 on a recording ever. So, now's not the time. Now's not the time to start. But we're hopping into our third and final match. Gotta figure something out, because those last two battles were just not it. They were just not it. I mean, I, I felt like I played pretty good in battle number two, but they just got the upper hand on me there. But they got Chiyu, they got Fluttermane, they got Arcanine and Dragonite, and then they also have... Iron Hands and Amoongus. I mean, Valiant's going to be pretty solid here all around. I like Valiant. So I am going to end up leading Valiant. And I kind of want Palafin again. I really like Palafin. So I'm going to go Palafin. I'm going to go Valiant. I'm going to go Chiyu. Do I go Golden Go or do I go Shen Pao? I really like Shen Pao. I'm not even going to lie. I like Shen Pao. Even though he has the Dragonite and I really would rather not. I feel like Shen Pao in the back end could be really beneficial for us, right? I mean, he's super effective on uh, two of these Pokemon. The Amoongus and the Dragonite. And we got the uh, the first turn priority, so in case somebody sash, we just drop them like that. So I like it. I can get down with it. I can get down with it, but we can't lose, and I'm not going to lose. I'm telling you guys right now. I'm hopping in this battle, and I'm winning this one. It might come down the wire, but I'm winning this one. No problem. No problem. This opponent's in for it. This opponent is in for it. So let's see. My back, my back's up against the wall. I need this win. Chi Yu and Arcanine come out here. Um. That's fine. I mean, I'm going to try to close combat it down. And uh, do I protect the Valiant? Do I knock off Arcanine's item? Could be pretty good for us. I do have the booster energy, which is lovely. Um, hmm, I could Moonblast down Chiyu, but Chiyu might even just Thras last year. Wait, there's a nice little... Oh, that actually works out perfectly for me. Now, yo, since I eject pack, turn one hasn't went yet. Right? Turn one hasn't went yet. So do do I still get to pick a turn on GU? That's my first time it ever happened there. I like it. I'm, I can get down with this. Yeah, yo, GU gets to go. But I like to see. But I like to see. But uh I'm just gonna moonblast this slot and I might just snarl. I could terrasalize, but I don't really see a see a needing of terrasalization. I'm just gonna snarl. Snarl and moonblast. Moonblast fine out here. How much damage are we doing this thing? Halfing it up. Give me a special attack drop. We do not get it, but we out speed, which is great. So I get a special attack drop onto that Chiyu. But yo, that's huge. My Palpin swap turn one. Loving it. Loving it. So going to fly out from our opponent. I mean, I can switch into Moonblast if I want. Or not Moonblast, into close combats if I want. But that's why I probably would have should have done. But I didn't really want to learn my defense there. He shows he's orbed in. Now there's really no point of going into close combats. So we might as well stay our special attacking. Right? Even though we're minus one. Special attack is probably our player. It's a big time burn. Um, hmm. We'll snarl KO. It might not. I think we just Moonblast guarantee that KO. And then we just snarl on top of this thing. Yeah, I can get down with that. I can get down with this. So Moonblast is going to fire. We're going to take out the Chi. We're going to finish off the Chi this turn. But yeah, that was so big. My pal finished just swapped right off the rip. We basically got a free... A free hero form transformation which was huge we snarl again because it's just gonna do the most damage and that's why i wanted to knock it off because i i figured he had a berry right most arcanines do and what are you gonna do he's gonna snarl me as well the snarl's bounce we're hoping it just throws out a special attacker here but i feel like a pokemon like iron hands would come out here most likely um okay do i swap to you i might want to swap to you here Let's see who he ends up going into. It is Iron Hands. Iron Hands gonna come out here. I mean, I could Moonblast it down. I'm Snarl minus two. I could just double swap here. I could double swap, and I'm thinking that's gonna be my play. Swap you and just double swap. 
I doubt he's going for an electric. I doubt he's going for a wild charge right here into into my Chiyu slot, right? I highly doubt it. So the double swap's gonna work wonders for us. We double swap, we get out Shen Palski. And we're gonna Tarras a lot. Oh, not we're, we're gonna bring up Palafin. I'm scared of the Arcanine Tarras last and in the potential grass, right? So I don't know if I should just acrobatics that slot down instead of jet punching. Let's see what our opponent ends up going for. There's a snarl. I'm fine with that. Physical attackers are out and about. We came to play. And we're going to see what he wants to do. He's going, oh, 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 no. <laughs> you no, know, please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Um, I'm thinking of just double down into you, right? I need to get rid of these guys. I mean, I might just double down in this thing. Get Terrasize in water. I could jet punch here, too. I don't think Arcanine protects. I think he terrestrializes, right? This is why this is why we're double down. Oh my god, he protects. He just protected me. That hurts, because now he wild charges and he get rid he gets rid of my uh Palafin. That really hurts, because I double down. I double down just in case he wants to terrestrialize in the grass. That really hurts. So we're gonna say bye bye to Palafin. That sucks. That really sucks. I know. We're gonna say bye bye to Shen Pao instead. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Um, Valiant's gotta come out here now. This is terrible. I do not know what to do. I do not know what to do here. I feel like he has to swap the Arcanine here. Or maybe just Terrasalize. But you know what? I'm gonna opt to Moonblast here and swap into Chiyu. That's gonna be my play. We gotta get rid of this Iron Hands now. Wow, dude. The double... The protect, he got me. Got me good with the double protect. Really hurt me. Really hurt me here. This might be my first 0 and 3 for you guys. I don't I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> but the sword dance play was wonderful. Love a little sword dance play. So here we go. We go into this. She you coming out here. Let's see what Arcanine's doing here. Because I feel like Arcanine's got a terror here. Or swap. Yeah, there's a swap. So this is why exactly why we swap. Because I think the electric move and he's trying to take out Palafin here. He's coming in here. Or he was just reading the jet punch, which would have been great. But there's Terrasalize from him. Smart little booger. Is that going grass? Are you going grass with that? You are going grass. Can you eat up? Chiu, I'm going to need you to eat up. That's what I'm going to need. Because then a heat wave could be awesome. Wind Blast flying. Doing big time damage, which we like. And Drain Punch gonna fly here. We're able to soak. Okay, so Heat Wave should be able to clean this up. We have the wide lens. I really like where we're sitting. And now, do I swap into somebody else? Do I swap into somebody else, or do I just hit onto the movies here? I mean, Burn's gonna KO us. We actually might have one more turn after this, which could be nice for us. But I still have the boy, and he doesn't have Terror. Do I have Terror? I think I do. Yeah, I still do. So from here, I feel like we would rather just double down to a Moongus more so than anything. And just heat wave this slot. So he ends up withdrawing Iron Hands. He's gonna go into Arcanine here. You Arcanine here. He's gonna save his Iron Hands. It's a pretty big play. So Arcanine comes out here. A little intimidate action, that's fine. That is totally fine. And a protect comes out from the lovely little Moongus. The swap's coming in hot here. Knockoff's gonna get blocked. Heat wave's gonna come in here, but we have speed, which is really good. We still have Palfin in the back end. I like what I, I like Chiyu and Palfin here. I really like both of them. The Chiyu's ripping here. Heat wave's dropping his Arcanine. Doing a really good amount of damage, and we should be able to eat up this burn. Right? We do. Cool. So, yeah, we just wanna keep sending heat waves, right? And I feel like Moonblast's gonna be your player. Moonblast, Heat Wave, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see where our opponent actually opts to go for it. I mean, the smart play would actually be just a Rage Powder this, but he ends up not doing it. Oh, we KO anyway. Okay, cool. Now, I, I was going to say, if you Rage Powder the Moonblast shot, Arcanine can eat up the Heat Wave. The Heat Wave should be able to just absolutely dump into this move. It's beautiful. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Now they're sitting here ready for Fake Out. So now we can Fake Me Out, and now would be the time to, like, double protect, but I can't protect my, uh... I can't protect my what's called my palafin. I cannot protect my palafin, but 
We're gonna hope that he thinks that I protect and he just protects or he just fakes out my Chiyu because I think I should protect my Chiyu because I need Chiyu. I 100% need Chiyu. I 1000% need Chiyu right here. Oh, this is your final Pokemon. Wow. Okay, cool. That's really good for us. Uh, Would Terrasizing in water really do anything for us, right? No. So Acrobatics is going to be my call. I don't have an item either. That's going to be super effective. And I feel like I just double down here, right? There's no need to protect. There's no need to protect. Chiyu going into flying. Would that help us out? Yes, just in case a Drain Punch comes out of here. So I am going to opt to Terrasize here into flying. I mean, Electric could do me dirty, but if you're going to hit Chiyu, you're going to Drain Punch here. But yo, let's go. Battle was canceled. No 0-3 today. Killed it in match number three. We go one and two. Still a losing record. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I do not go 0-3 in a video. One and two for today's video. First match was and eh. second match we played a little bit better. Ended up still losing. But third match, we came out on top. No way I'm going 0-3 for you guys. Hopefully you guys still did enjoy. Got to showcase this team pretty well. Definitely could have played better on my end, but hopefully you guys, again, still did enjoy the content. We had Chen Pao, we had Chiyu, Iron Valiant did really good. Palfin. Always a beast. And then we had Golden Go and Amoongus as back-end Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.